Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect from Windows command prompt to MySQL command line. So let's go to the Windows machine where we have installed the multiple MySQL servers. So if you have done a default installation, what, what is going to happen? You're going to go to C drive and that's where you will be going to the program files and in program file you will find a mysql and my, in mysql you will find mysql server 8.0 here as i have done 8.0 installation if you have done 5.7 you will see 5.7 here okay now you double click here you are going to go to the bin and then in bin you have a mysql application that can be used to connect to your mysql server okay so let's go to the command and from command prompt now we can uh, go to this folder, copy and hit uh, CD and paste it here. Now we are in this uh, folder. So if I see directory, I will see all those different executable, uh, MySQL, MySQL dump that we use for backups and all those kind of thing. Now from here, what we can do, if I will go ahead and say MySQL-U-Root-P, it is going to connect me on port 3306 to the mysql server okay so let's do that provide the password and now we are done show databases if you see i have this database the default db i have this different databases and tech brother it123 so where are those databases they are on on the data directory of this mysql server okay so let's go back here and the program files just want to show you and mysql and then mysql server data and that's where these databases are so you want to create another database say create a database uh, cmd test okay default okay so you can see that a new folder will be created when you will create a new database great but as i have a, a multiple uh, my SQL server is installed on this machine. So if you go to services, you can see that I have uh, three my SQL servers installed. So I have a my SQL 80. That's what we are connected. That's the default what we did. And my SQL dev is uh, manually. I install the second my SQL server and then Q is the third one. So if we would like to connect to the my SQL dev, how we would do that? So first of all you need to know which port it is running so you will go to properties and then you will find the my ini file so it is on a c mysql dot mysql and ini you can just copy this folder let me see this we copy from here and paste and uh, here is a uh, mysql uh, ini file so if you go back further down there and you see the client uh, and uh, you see that port is a uh, 3307 uh, okay mysql d is uh, also listening uh, on uh, 3307 so what we have to do if i want to connect to this server uh, my uh, sql server i have to use port uh, 3307 uh, in last time uh, when we opened the command line we didn't provide any port uh, because that's the default port uh, and the 3306 uh, and it took it uh, if i run the query i can show you right there so i have a query that will show you which port uh, that the server is listening okay so you can see that uh, it is on a 3306 uh, but this server my sql dev it is installed for 33 zero seven so what we need to do we need to we can go to the same patch where our command line was or we can go to the uh, command line uh, we can go to this uh, bin uh, because when we did installation of my sql dev, dev uh, we have been directed there as well and we have a mysql we can either go to this folder to initiate uh, my sql uh, uh, command line or we can go to the old my programs uh, and uh, whatever the command you want to use the same way like if you go here you go to the program files mysql server bin and uh, this uh, mysql so it doesn't really matter from where you uh, locate this uh, application so it can be on any any path but in our, in our case as we have done multiple installations uh, 
Now we can start from there. So okay, I can start from here, but I will connect to my SQL dev because I will be providing the port. So I'm gonna go ahead and say CD. Okay, here I will say my SQL dash u dash root, sorry root dash p provide the password and uh, say dash dash port equal three three zero seven. Okay, that tells me I want to connect to the my SQL dev server. Okay, provide the password and you say show databases. Now you will see different databases list. So you see the dev database here. And if you go to the other CMD, we do not have any dev here. So they are connected with the different MySQL servers. So easy way, you will go locate the MySQL and then um, run the command MySQL dash u root and uh, or other user whatever user you want to provide and the dash p okay password and then you will just if you want to get to default you don't have to say port 3306 but if you are uh, connecting with the second instance that's uh, running on a, or even first instance that's running on different port then you have to tell the port so let's say if i will um, i will go exit from here now i want to connect to the default that's running on 3306 but i can still say that the port so dash p dash dash port equal to 3306 provide the password show databases okay so you can see that so this is a now you kind of clear here you are connected to the port 3306 that's your uh, mysql server 80 and that's uh, port 3307 that's your um mysql dev you can see from here so that's our say one instance is this is running on 3307 as we see from the ini file and going to the ini file we see the port number there if we go to the this ini file then you will see port uh, 336 so thanks very much uh, for uh, listening and i will see you guys in the next video